at the end of the war we stayed in uh, the town hall and we were told to go and knock on people's doors to see if we can have a bath because obviously it was nearly uh, six weeks before we left the island and we got to know a, uh, a couple uh, Gladys and Orlando, Orlando, Orlancid, if I'm pronouncing that right. And I'll always remember a little blonde child who I thought was a little girl, but obviously it turned out that it was a little boy with long curly hair, and his name is Ian Betts. And then of course, uh, the people we're staying with at the minute was Ken and Caroline, and they actually said that the house is still standing. So she said, we'll go for a drive down to the house to see if it's the right house. And lo and behold, Ian, I Ian Betts, walked out of the house as we were pulling up. So we got talking to him, and of course, he invited me in for the, into the house, and it was him that was the little child with long, blonde, curly hair. But I'm really, really chuffed that um, I have now found relatives or the grandson of Gladys and Orlando um, and it turns out to be Ian Betts. So that was the uh, an, uh, one of the reasons that I wanted to come back as well. I mean, the main reason is obviously pay my respects to the boys that um, who never came home. I don't know if I will ever return to the Falklands because I'm now 64 and um, for me you know this has put a lot of ghosts to bed I mean you know I'm really chuffed I'm here I found the family I found everything that I wanted to find out about the island after you know 40 years ago and I have I've ticked every bucket list everybody's got their own story to tell and I think you know the first timers it's, it's just a story in their own head and I think they've cleared a little bit of their memory or perhaps they've put their ghost to bed um, but the main reason is obviously to pay respects to the boys um, who, who got killed on the Sir Galahad and three of them that are here when Kim is sitting on the bench there one of them you know they've got their own story and the story I've got is just to pay my respects to the boys that were out there on the water that fateful day.